got never other done shit to do. Yeah. You've never done it. What colour is that stuff? I've got other stuff what, to do. This? Yeah. Coyote brown. brown. Oh. Well, that's not good. You what think, you think scope manufacturers and rifle manufacturers oh, would, get, would get together well, that's burnt and bronze. make something that's... That's burnt bronze. To me, that actually looks pretty close, yeah? Yeah, but you can't see shit because you're blind. Yeah, no, you're right, actually. <laughs> is that, like, wildly different? Like, is that it... is fucking bastard. Bastard. <laughs> Oh, one of those. That looks more like, metallic. -y. Yeah, like more that's as that's as different colour as red and fucking blue. A blind person can tell you that yeah. that's a different fucking colour. You guys. <laughs> I'm going. Three. No, not talking to anyone. Well, that's fine. I've ever tried these for tea, so I'm going to. <laughs> see that right oh. yeah they can so that's actually incredibly difficult to scope to get so I'm actually quite glad that we've got one here we've even got a matching knife here as well okay oh yeah that's brown so for those of you who have just been tuned in we've just had a discussion on how these aren't the same color they're brown and then Zane's just completely and utterly simplified the fucking entire colour spectrum into it's fucking brown. It is, it's fucking brown. It's brown, brown. brown. And he's got a brown knife. There, brown knife. Brown knife. Brown knife, yes. So you can go pig shooting and with your brown gun, with your brown scope, and then you go and finish the pig off with your brown knife, and then when the pig has a go, you can fill your pants with brown liquid. And then you get your brown friend to carry it out. Yeah, and then you go home and bring some... <laughs> bring some... Jesus. What? Oh, I just realised what you said, you racist fuck. Fuck it, now we're trained. I was talking about Maoris. It's all right. Oh, you got a pass for that, do you? Apparently. <laughs> You're gonna go home and get stabbed. Yeah, I was gonna say, I you're sleep don't know if it's just gonna happen. Jilly, you know? let you sleep in the house. Sorry, you got... I know we've just walked off and left the camera open, but that's because someone has decided that we needed to start at 5.30 every night. So we'll um we'll just stay where we are at the moment. Hello everybody, how are you? Give us a like if you are all ready to go for an excellent Friday night live. Say hello to Ross. Ross is still here for some reason. Yeah, I gotta fuck off about Yeah, it. so you better go pick up your kids, mate. Yeah. yeah, do you want to finish doing the tilt? No, fine, I'll do it. I'll catch you after. <laughs> so yeah, doing? throw us out a like um, if you're ready for Friday Night Live. We are going to be severely winging it this night because, well, I don't think any of us have prepared fuck all as per usual. I mean, Zane spent but, most of the week at the farm. Well, that's right. So Zane and Bill were out at the farm for most of the week testing rifles and... Um, Building some gear. Fuck off, my chair. Oh, Jesus Christ. Back up. Alright. I'll leave you with Zane because he's a winner. Um, I've counted all those. Yeah, so why do you get to call Maori's brown people? Oh, can we leave that alone now? <laughs> <laughs> what, just because you're married to one? Yeah, pretty um, much. Well, yeah, but. No, I was well, that's just. that's not. You can't. No, I was just. I just threw it out there. It wasn't. It wasn't designed to be aimed at anybody in particular. It was just a. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, I'm married to someone brown, I'm gonna go brown baby. Oh, I'm not a murderer, some of my best friends are alive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> some of my best friends are alive. Who's uh, the comedian who drops out and then he goes, oh, Sean, I'm not a pedophile, some of my best friends are kids. Sean Locke. Ooh. Sean Locke, yeah, yeah, Sean Locke. pretty bad for that. Who's that? He's I don't even know who that is. He's a comedian, he's on a... Um, 8 out of 10 cats does countdown and um... So loser shit that no one watches. Uh, no, pe you know, people that have friends and lives and stuff. So not you. Pe people like Jimmy Carr. Yeah, normal people. Right. 
Oh, oh Jimmy. Dude. Oh, is it English? Is it English? Is it English? Oh, yes. that's why. Oh, no, fuck. What is it? No, probably more English. 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 Oh, yeah, because Dave Chappelle's awesome. Dave Chappelle is awesome. Yeah, no, he hasn't been funny since he was, um, I never. Oh, since he was in Next Friday, 47 years ago. Um, Scoop says hi, Ross. Hey, Scoops. He hasn't said hi to us yet, but that's not. Yeah. Hey, Scoops. I'm guessing he prefers me. I, 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 I like you more than I like us too. I don't mind. Because when we're out in the farm next week, it's not me that's going to get pegged by scoops. No, that's right. It's going to be you. It's going to be you. Is it next week? It's an easy top over there. <laughs> well, yeah. He's already got you. Hang on to the beard, you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> handlebars. Squeal for me, Pete. Cable. So why have we got a cable? Um, because I bought some fuck We've got a couple of K bars actually. I actually had this. I, I was actually hoping I got this really cool one. And if Michael Ward is watching, he'll be able to show you because he bought it. It's actually a really good shape. Because um, it's got a lot of belly on it, so you could like skin and stuff, but it's got a nice point on it. Yeah, it's like because you know, awesome. it is a drop point. So, yeah, 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 have a look at that. It's not like I was talking. That's a 48 bucks at the moment. Um, that one I'll just hand it. I'll put it in the right way out. Yeah, what we saw. Um, so I actually got a novelty K bar. Where they've, you know, the back end of a shifter. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah. Well, they've actually made that and then put a blade on it. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah and they called it the wrench knife. Yeah, cool. And I was like, oh, I'll get, I'll get one of those in for sure. See how they go. And it lasted twenty minutes on the shelf. And yeah. Then Michael Ward bought it, so. Um, yeah. I reckon those folders are a pretty good deal. Hey Nathan, how are you? Turn your phone on silent without the vibration. Yeah, you got an alarm that goes off at five thirty-seven every Friday. Yeah, right. There you go. And it vibrates the Not phone. 537, 527. Not 537, it just went off. No. <laughs> it did, I had to silence it. James reckons it's nice to hear that his ZZ Top comment has grown a life all of its own. Like maybe it was snoozed from 527? I don't know. Oh, that'll be what it is. That'll be what it is. Because it went off at 527. Well, that's not nice. Because that's how long I need to prepare. James reckons it's got lots of belly on it like Trent. Yeah! <laughs> uh, all on me! He's all a pack of cats. <clears throat> uh, this thing's fine. You can do it. Oh, what's going on? I don't want to fuck it. If I knew that, I'd fix it. No, well, but you haven't led very well. Oh, good. Hang on. What's going on? Alright, well, while you're hey, waiting, you, can you, you go get me a coat? Hey. Yeah, can you get me one too? <laughs> what am I, some sort of fucking errand boy? Yes. Yes. Red How head. long have you been here for and not realise that yet? Well, you can't turn up for two months and then expect well, we that you are, are going to be giving away some knives during the show, not K-bars, but they are low bulb. They're close enough to K-bars. They're actually, they're actually really good knives. Uh -huh. So I've got a couple of them we're going to be giving away. I don't know why or how yet. <laughs> this isn't gold. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we should consult the fridge. Hey, no, you remember that? that Probably not. That German sword with the brass. Yeah. Remember the Japanese one? The one that was cut off? Yeah. Yeah. Was there in that one of those cupboards? In one of the cupboards, yeah. Well, it's not there anymore. Which one are you? We're talking about that big silver one, Bill. Probably with the star or something. No, it was only a been chopped off. There was one that was pinched and brought back as booty. Um, and had to fit inside a briefcase. And so they cut the end off it. Booty. There's a lot of them, apparently. Yeah, right. So, thanks for tuning in. Hope everyone got lots out of the last episode. Uh, it was a bit more popular. And um, Bill's going to be on tonight once he can find his shit. He was going to talk about a samurai sword that he had, but he doesn't know that much about it. It's an interesting piece of history, but he likes to talk about stuff that he knows stuff about. Hmm? Um, Yes, we got heaps of comments already. Great to see you all. Make sure you chuck your comments in, ask some questions while I'm sitting here waiting for everyone else to get their shit together. Um, ask any questions relating to long range shooting or reloading. We had a reloading course a couple of weeks ago now. Last week? Oh, the 10th. Last week. 10th. Last week, yeah. So, that went very well. Oh, hang on, everybody. The printer's about to start. Let's see what your comments are going to be about that this week. Ron Lean, answer the phone. No. Oh, it was ringing before, was it? No, it's 5.30, we don't answer the phone anymore. Scoops. Afternoon, Bruce Davey, Tyrone. Oh. 
fire and went and shot your gun yesterday at Shoots Men. Just got back from Ongra. Oh, back from Ongra, I think it means. Catch you coming. Oh, see you later. Have a good weekend. Catch you later. I was in your age. Faros, Trent thinks he's got a brown pass. Trent kids are brown. Trent knows he's got one. Actually, I did say hi. He did say hi. La, 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 la. Have you guys ever done a review on the 223 WSM? No, we haven't, because if if we do a review on a cartridge, one of us will have to talk it up, and then the other person will have to talk it down. And you can't talk it up. sort of weigh it up. Like, it's going to be a very one-sided discussion <laughs> if it's a 223 WSM. <laughs> and probably not the way um, you want us to review it either. What happened to the birthday cake? Most of it got eaten. Uh, it was a really nice caramel birthday cake with, uh, had, what did it have on top? Had oh, um, popcorn, popcorn, caramel and popcorn and... Bits of Toblerone, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was a good choice. Are we having middle-aged shit with Zane tonight? <laughs> yeah. 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 Can I get an off? You can if you win the prize. Is that, is that product placement? Yes, it is. Everything is here. Thanks, Zane. Yeah. Want. If you've never watched the show and you believe in product placement, um, tune in and watch any other show where Zane has pulled piss out of everything that we've got on the shelf. Pretty much. Yeah. It's not really the best. Like, it's not an ad. Like the show that you Friday Night Live is not an ad for anything. No. So it's a very, just, it's the pull the piss out of everything well, show. Well, so it's kind of a it's an honest take in the firearm industry based in WA and on products that we get. Bill should learn how to use Google. He should. The Google. The Google. I reckon that'll help him find the shitty little James Goff. Fucking printer. Here's something, here's something you can pull the piss out of. That's what Trent got last. What well, Trent got on during the week. Old timer. Like, open them up. Oh, yeah, I've got. Uh, yeah, I, I, they, they see me coming with it. <laughs> to be honest. I, I'm, I've you got a, got a knife there, just, just cut the box open. I thought, oh, you're somebody more boy. You can cut the tape. Yeah. I'm going to move the camera closer in this one. Oh, well, that is. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. I actually thought they were going to be bigger than that. In the photo, they you could You could pick your teeth with that. Yeah, you got fucked when they <laughs> well, sold they say those. They those ones, yeah. But yeah. I did get all those K-bars, so it kind of worked out in my favour. That's yeah. like every chat on the internet's dick pic. Yeah? <laughs> looks fucking no, awesome on Instagram. Get it down from underneath so it looks like it's bigger. Like yeah, that? that's, that's it. it. That's yeah. it. That's yeah, it. That's yeah, it. yeah, that's it. You gotta get the, yeah. get it silhouetted in the light. My question to you though, Zane, is how many dick pics have you received to know this? Today or Yeah, today. Oh dozens. Dozens? <laughs> well your Tinder profile does ask for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My grinder profile, what <laughs> you mean, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. What's that? Yeah, yeah, sure. What's the grinder? What what Cubus is was telling us about. Q is so one of the guys that went on the run with Cubus, they nicknamed him the cry the grinder. The one of the guys from Nine. You know about it, you're telling me about it, you've been a fucking. I don't think I am. I think you should. Well, I'll be in Perth Wednesday, only for Coke. You guys sent a team together for Williams and surrounds box shoots, team beating. Um, we talked about getting a team together in the past, but we just haven't like facilitated. Like, I haven't really I don't know it's if you've ever met us, but we're not really good at organising shit. No. Um, <laughs> red card's something that we, tr we try and support in a couple of the smaller shires every year. And, um, yeah, so it's a really good program, though. Everyone needs to get around red card. Um, well, I'll tell you what. If you guys have got room on a team already and you want, you know, you want to put it forward to us and see if we want to come down and help you. Why shouldn't I buy a Litgo 102 ESS? You should. Um, you should buy one. I can't think of any reason why okay. not. Well, I mean, if you leave me to it, I'll find some. Hey, we've got, we got one in the back. Don't, don't we have Genius? Lift no, that's, two? that's gone. He's right? gone? Oh. Yeah. oh Junior took it's, quite, it's quite a good ring, that one, actually. No, well, it's a good well, set. Yeah, it's, it's a good chassis. It's right. all right. Your hand's going to stick to it at night because it gets fucking cold. Whoever digs. 
No, you, 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 you both, why do you have to be the centre of attention? No, you? you're both in the centre. I'm more centre. I'm the more centre person. No, um, there's no, there is no reason why you shouldn't. Let's let's open this up so people don't have a cry that there might be a loaded firearm. Oh, oh, while they're drinking no, coke. No, I'm putting my hand near the you trigger. You guys didn't check it. No, hope there's no rum in those cokes. There's not, by the way. Otherwise, I'd be happier. Oh, I don't drink rum. It's too spicy. You're I sweet enough, you think? Absolutely. Is this Mick Dundee's not? Absolutely. Sounds like bloody the hound. Right. He's being a sarcastic ass on the comments when you and I. It, it's yes. not going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> we we like stuff like that, to be honest. Is that Mick Dundee's knife? That's not a knife. That's not a knife. This is a fucking knife. Where's my knife? Where that's is your knife? That's not a knife. Where is your knife? Maybe we should just... There we go. Cited in my new 23 Howl environment. Tried power loads. Loves 24. Yeah, it's good, Gary. That is good, mate. Well done. Nathan Griswold's on. Hello, Nathan. How are you, buddy? That's not a knife. That's a knife. So this is a knife I've been working on for years now. Um, from my second knife making course that I did. And uh, it's a big chunk of chunk of steel, that's for sure. I actually really like the shape. Like, it's really flat on the bottom. Um, curves up at the back. So there's a lot of weight in the head. Like a cookery, but without the curve on it. You should have fucking tanned it. Um, Nah, what did I originally have? I had an idea for it. No, I didn't. I don't like. I'll, I'll, I prefer the, the curve to it. Um, so ah! I'm just shaping the handle up. The uh, James reckons it's not going to hurt. Title of Zane's grinder page. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, the, and the winner of the internet tonight is James. <laughs> oh, that's my gold. So I'm going to make a steel grip cap for you though, so I can fucking crack people in the head with it. Because it's not like it's a big fucking knife on the other end. I just like that you've, you know, I'm a person now, that's great. <laughs> Before I was just a cam. Oh, oh, I can't say that on my TV, can you? Oh. That's got nice, that has got nice weight to it actually. Yeah. It's really well balanced. Once I've finished the grip, I'll sharpen it up, we'll take it out of the farm for like chopping limbs off and fun. <laughs> Not off track. Just, off. <laughs> just for hacking shit yeah. up. Kill. Cool. Alrighty. So we'll have to do a zombie apocalypse match. You gotta run up and hack the, hack the arms off a zombie and yeah, shit like that. Kick a door in. We've got to get a 44 gallon drum and suspend it between four star pickets. Though. Yeah, so we can pretend we're on a horse. Yeah. Step to the lip, to the lip, to the oh, Because we'll Cousins get... wants that. He's we'll... gonna take his 30 30 out. Yeah, we'll get Ross out there with fucking two coconut shells. <laughs> Oh, right. I thought you were going to say, we'll get Ross out there, put a saddle on him. <laughs> He's been ridden enough, that boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, Monty Python. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a flesh, that's just a flesh wound. All right, Fuck so. Up, yeah, whatever. So I don't know where Bill is with old shit. Well, let's just crack on for now. I mean, you'd, think, you'd think he'd have something by now. He's got enough old shit. So. He's got plenty of old shit. Being that we, this is, this is a throwback to the old days where we actually have little prepared and we just fucking go off the cuff. It's much more enjoyable. So you do that every week. Oh, yeah, it's, when it's, was the last time you prepared anything? Like I even, I even gave you the cartridge. Well, that's the, for last week. That's and the then plan. You spent two days and come up with nothing. You, you picked a cartridge on Mike, man. Have you chosen a cartridge yeah, for tonight? I have. What? Two to three. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I've got two to three because I get to pick it, and I yeah. picked it, and I like it, and I'm going to go for the pros. Yeah, cool. Yeah, you're going to go for the cons. Where's the... Um, I don't know where the board went. Nick put it away. Office. Nick put it away. That's right. ZZ Top's on to it. So I'm going to get away some knives. We're going to talk about two to three as a cartridge. We're going to... There it is. Found it. What are you going to talk about this week? Well, there's nothing really new, new so no new we're struggling with that. I, like, I do like the fact that we've got the knives out, though, because I would like to go... I don't know, we can talk about the rolls. What's new in the industry? Okay, for Maybe. everyone that may have been... Oh, yeah, knife rolls. We can talk about that. Yeah, because I've got a side cut that's, knife roll. that's the special one, Tom. Yeah, so I've got a side cut knife roll in, which is actually quite a good piece of value. Yeah, well, you and can talk about that. I don't want to talk about all the vlogging shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not here to vlog shit. I'm here to just... Talks. You flog shit all the time. You are a flog. Only you're an old flog. Only on weekends and my missus is in my. You're a flog. 
Anyway. Yeah, yeah, so I've got that to talk about. I'll leave him there. Um, yeah, you can just leave him there for now. That'll be fine. Um, um, right now, that's not bad. Gary reckon he shot 82 foxes this year on 1,600 acres. That's pretty good going. That's pretty good going. That's fucking not bad, is it? Even, even, if, even if half of them ate one lamb, that's like six grand in lambs? Fuck yeah. It's a lot of lamb. That is a lot of lamb. Maybe, that's, that's maybe, how that's many did you shoot? 82. Well, maybe if you pulled your finger out and got 100, lamb wouldn't be $36 a kilo on the store. Well, that's right. You could try harder, Gary. But obviously, you've just been letting the team down. How many foxes have you shot this year? Three or something. Yeah, I've got two. So, <laughs> we pulled our weight. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, be good if you did a talk on scopes in quality. Yeah. Yeah, we'll buy a scope that's quality. Okay, we can we can pencil that in for a future episode because we've got a couple of different brands there. Mm. Um, um, well, that's I was, something that's I was actually thinking too. about that because that's not a bad option, right? Because have a look at marketing. Marketing's always designed to get the pump through, yeah. And if you put two scope manufacturers, uh, box, um, you know, propaganda or advertisements together. They've always got the ticks, you know, what's it got? Oh, it's got first focal, second focal, it's got a big objective lens, it's got target turrets, it's got this, it's got that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And if you put, say, a scope that's worth a thousand bucks and a scope that's worth 2,500 bucks or $3,500, a lot of the time they tick the same boxes. You know, they've got first focal, or they've got the target turrets, or they've got side parallax, or they've got this, or they've got that. And we do get a lot of people coming in and instantly saying, you know, well, they all tick the same boxes. Why is that one a thousand bucks and why is that one twenty five hundred dollars? And a lot of the time it's basically it comes down to the glass and the erector tube or the erector system, you know, like you might get a thousand dollar one and you turn the turret and it feels like you're grinding it over broken glass, you know, and then you go to full magnification outside and it's not quite there, you know, it's a little bit hazy. Yet you go to the expensive scope. And it's crystal clear, full magnification. The target, oh, the turrets are very positive. You know, you turn it, you get a very positive click. Yeah. Um, I mean, it is what it is, but there's a certain amount of subjectiveness to that. But another interesting one, though, is that um, that LRP well, you've got there. Well, of course it is. Yeah. 2250. But we've got a VX6 HD here, 4 to 24 by 52 power. For only twenty five hundred and what is that seventy? Yeah, but that's that's that's, a, that's normally a three thousand yeah. dollars scope. Yeah. On so one. that's not a heavy special. So yeah, in reality, they're two different classes of scope. Yeah. But somebody's going to get an absolute bargain. And, in and we can one. go over the different ranges within certain brands. But I think what people are looking for is what's been asked for is why is why is that twenty two hundred? Yeah. But a Bushnell with all the same features only twelve hundred. Exactly. Yeah. So like, why is a Bushnell Forge or Nitro worth? A thousand bucks when it first broke or the targets yeah. are it's well know. one one thing that an ad's never gonna tell you is what's shit about a scope. Exactly. You know? And so and I've spoken about this before and there is blogs on our website and you can read more of excuse me about that. I shouldn't drink Coke while I'm on camera. Um there's you can read more about it. There's different there's triangular relationships between different aspects of rifle scopes, yeah? And you can't defeat that, okay? Now Magnification, an example, magnification is relatively fixed. You can't fudge that. You can't have a 24 power scope and say that it's a 30 power. Like, it's, you can't do that. It's just not. It's just not. It's just what it is. It's like saying, oh, my Commodore's got six tires. Like, no, it doesn't. It's got four. So, but if you've got a 24 power scope, now the ad might say that it's got really wide field of view. And you might say, oh, that's really good. What they're not telling you, though, is that to get that wide field of view, they've got really short, really critical eye relief. Or they might say, we've got the longest eye relief in the market. And loophole's good for that. We've got the longest eye relief in the market. Yeah, but you've got really restricted field of view. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. And, it's, and so that's one of the things like, that we can do. Like you said, it's that triangle. You know, you can have two of the three, but you can't have all three. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Do you guys rate GPO scopes? Are they any good in Illuminated? No. I don't know, mate. I've never heard of it. It's that German honest. Precision Optics. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen one in the Who's flesh. Who's bringing one of them in? Herons, maybe? 
Aaron's were doing Carl's, man. Nah, Carl's has gone off someone else now, I think. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, I can't keep up with that. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. I suppose when loopholes dry up, maybe we'll have to find out. Well, everything's drying up, that's the sad part. But that's the thing, you just can't yeah. get anything anyway. Um, the Night Force, I was talking to the Night Force rep the other day, and he was saying normally they've got, um, at their American um, warehouse, they've normally got 10,000 minimum units on order. Oh, sorry, in stock. He has, at the moment, currently, they've got less than a thousand units of everything in that warehouse. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, like, this is the whole reason why this stuff has been. Well, that's hard like, to find. back when, um, back when Obama got in, Savage bought, had just bought a new, like a whole facility just as a storage facility, yeah. like a massive warehouse just for storage and all racking and shit. And then Obama got in, and then they had photos of it, and it was just the whole thing was empty. There was nothing in there. Not a thing. Nothing in the yeah, storage right. facility at all. So, which is pretty nice. James, yes, order in a GPO so I can come and see it. You didn't even come in to look at the Ruger Precision. Rimfire. Which, Rimfire, I'll clarify. Of which we have two on the shelf at the moment. I've got one. No, we've got two. We've got a black one as well now. Oh, do we? Yeah. Fuck off. No, we do. Open it up. No, I'm not going to open it. We've got an Hollywood show. I'll bet you at the farm has got back. I didn't want to have a shave this morning. Oh, shit. You've got four hairs on your chin. Shit, I've Wait, got the shave as well. Can you get the scope in MOA? No one cares, scoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could, mate, if we went back to 1964. Okay. Look at a bushel of nitro. And then the bushel of nitro, is a, it's a good little setup, to be honest. It's a really good rifle. Do you want to go? Yeah. FDE. It's not FDE, it's Coyote Brown, Jay. But, oh, this one? But I'm colorblind, so. So that's your little Bushnell Nitro there. That's the 5 to 20 model. Gary Vernon, I'll be pooping in next week. No, sorry, popping in next week. So. You didn't even message me back, Trent, James said. Yeah, I did, James. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I did. Uh. So, yeah, 5 to 20. It's a uh, first focal plane, this one, MOA. Oh, oh, no, this one's Mills, actually. It is Mills yet, so it's Mills. Uh, comes with, uh, what do they call them, scope covers. And that, one, <laughs> and that one's going, you know, that, that there is a sub thousand bucks. That's 995 bucks. And you're getting a good little scope for what it is. You get the pube for free. You do get the pube <laughs> for free. Um, and if you buy it and you don't argue the price, I'll actually put another one on it for you. So... Yeah, come in and have a look at that one if it interests you. Um, this one does have, and I don't know what the reticle is called, but it's their like version of the, of the like tremor. Yeah, you know, okay. it's got that. Yeah, it's got a big tree in it. It's got a big tree in it, so I don't really remember what it's called, but. Is that mill? Yeah, it is mill. Yeah. It's an inch tube, isn't it? Or is it 30, 30 mil? 30 mil. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could drink at work there, Ron. I'm just not allowed to. And it would improve my memory retention. And actually, it'd, it'd help me forget the shit that I have to deal with. <laughs> but that's a different story. <laughs> I don't like all them about scopes. No, I don't like them. Talking about scopes. If, if you hunt pigs, in the late afternoon, on foot, hard to see, you know, rabbits or something like that, something that blends in, something that's made to blend in. And you need, and, and you're losing your reticle a little bit, well then yeah, illuminator can be really handy. Um, but for 99% of the times, especially under a spotlight, if you can't see what you're shooting at, illuminating the reticle doesn't change shit. Yeah. yeah? I, still I just find it flares up and actually you lose what's behind it. Oh, yeah. Fun, yeah. Especially at longer range, you know. If you're going to shoot rabbits and, and, oh, yeah, and stuff like that, I'd just rather run an aim point. Yeah. You know, up close, turn that aim point right down to nothing, so you've just got that tiny little red dot, so it's just visible. And yeah, so like, um, BXRs or what? Well. Yeah, these, these ones yeah, are Yeah, those BXRs are controls. They were, yeah, shame, they were yeah. shame that they got rid of them. Those well, they were just incorporated into the Freedom. Well, that's right, but, you know, the BXR patrol was a, that was a sweet little loophole, that thing. Yeah. 
So is Bill coming at some point, or are we just going to crack on and pretend like he's not here? He's probably out of that room in paper or something. Yeah, probably probably not, or he's watching us live. <laughs> he'll be, he'll be fine. Oh, oh well, it's it might be getting too late. We might just continue. Yeah. Hey, were you doing old shit with Bill? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that didn't hear that, Zane just walked out the back and went, Hey, Bill, are you still doing old shit with Bill? And Bill went, Nah. <laughs> it was oh, the most dismissive. I love, it. I love it. That's so good. If that's not Friday Night Live with Feet and Firearms, that, that's nothing. I, that's just what it is, isn't it? That's just what it is. Dave's standing behind the camera looking at me going, what the hell? <laughs> uh, Scoop reckons, so are you pair just going to talk shit all night? Strip, that's all so, we do. Yeah, what, what's new? Like, what? <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. That's that's what we do. <laughs> Who's ringing now? If one of you is ringing now, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> Can't be the police. <laughs> anyway. I'm just going to grab a couple of knife rolls, so I'll talk to you about them. So, you guys are well aware uh, that we normally do the Green River knife rolls here. Um, absolutely pearl a little, little setup. So, they're in an AOS canvas bag, uh, roll up bag, and you get the two knives and the sharpening steel. So, those, that roll there is going for 150 bucks. And literally, I can't keep them on the shelves. They just roll out the shelves, no worries whatsoever. Uh, just for a little bit of a change up, I've decided to have a try of these side cut ones. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more... What cut? Side cut. You wouldn't know you can't spell. So they're a black handle. They've got plastic handles on them. Uh, you actually get the four knives in this roll and the steel as well. Uh, it's not an AOS canvas bag as far as I'm aware it's the Psycup branded one it's probably made by the same people but that one there it's actually going for the same price as the Green River so it's 150 bucks I've got one left in stock so if you want to come down tomorrow grab it off me um, and I think you'll find that it's a very very good setup for what it is and with the 20% off that makes them $120 a roll yeah well there you go the marketing guys come into it and save the day as always as always well done, Dave. Thank you very much for that. You can't get Adler's Jock Guns at the moment. So I'll finish one this year. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No scoops, we won't answer the phone. Where's that whiteboard? Oh, over here. The one that you walked past 15 oh. times. Oh, that'll be the camera off. You want me to send them in shallow? No, no, it's cool. You got to text it? Sure, I'll pass me some of that stuff and make some space for you. Yeah, just uh, just yeah. walk through and grab it. Just walk through and grab it? Walk through and grab it. Walk through and grab it. Just pretend like you're on a grind today. We're going to give those away. We're going to give some knives away, are we? Mm. What's your question? Why are you good? Right, are you good? All that's, right. No, that's the segment. Why are you good? Alright. Um, first off, going to give away. We'll do a reloading question because we did have a reloading course last week. So, what's a reloading question? What is a reloading question? Yeah, yeah, James, they are hard to skin a room. With those little knives I ordered. They did see me coming with them. I should have really not looked at the picture and maybe looked at the specs of them just a little bit. But <laughs> nah, I've got nothing. Yeah, nah. I fucked up. We'll probably give them away at some stage to be honest. Oh. This is got this has got a little glass breaker on it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And not only that's got the seatbelt cutter. Yeah. Here, I'll pass it back to you. Well put it in front of the screen so people can I'll see. I'll put it in front of the screen. Yeah, this is the K buff. Well, I can't remember what's the flipper called. Like uh, Kopu. 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 Or something like that. Something Koipu like that. was, yeah. 
Beautiful there we little are. flipper. Uh, 60 bucks they made at. They've got the belt clip on the other side there. Yeah, belt clip. Uh, really good little knife. It's got the uh, seat, belt seat belt cutter, cutter. and the glass breaker on the end. So yeah, I didn't notice a glass breaker you know, before. There's a genuine K-bar knife there too, guys. So get in and grab one of them for sure. So yeah. I'm thinking, trying to think of a question that's not too hard. But not so easy that Scoops will just get it. Because Scoops, you're not getting the fucking... Well, to be honest, Scoops, you're not entitled to win any prizes because we get most of our knowledge from him. We'll give him out... We'll, give, we'll let him go into the rounds for prizes yeah. when his account's paid off. <laughs> so never. <laughs> Fair enough. You owe me money, you don't win shit for free. <laughs> How harsh is that? What? What? So I can't win anything either? No, neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> um, terrible stuff. Alright, there's two two things that you can vary in your reloads to change your accuracy. So to tune your rifling to get the most precision out of your reloads. What are the two things that you can vary to change that? Ooh, two variables. Tell me what the two variables are you winning on. First one through, right now. Um, but we're talking about two, two, three tonight. Well, I'll pay, well, I ain't able to do that. No, I'll talk about this first. So this is the mag box out of a B230, so it takes the 10-shot mags. Have we got any spare 10-shot mags? <laughs> no, just the mags. No! Why would is, we have a is, spare 10-shot? Is Seek that open? No, no, five one? shot, sorry, five shot. You've oh. got a spare five shot. Yeah, yeah. Got any gun? Or? Uh, I think there's two over there somewhere. Uh, really? yeah, in a box. Box. Hard to know because Ross fucking grabs them and plays with them and she certainly robs them on his dick. And then never puts them back. Anyway, so they come with five round mags, um, single stack mags. Well, I've got one of these though. I want to try and copy the design, the shape and everything, but actually make this twice as wide. So make it so. You can fit double stack 12 gauge magazines into the bottom of a B230. And then it'll, I'll, I'll have to try and make mags because no one makes big double stack mags. But I'll make, try and make a big double stack mag that takes a whole packet of 12 gauge rounds. Well, you still got to work on that drum you made a couple of years ago. Yeah, no, that was, that's a pretty good idea. Bill was <laughs> fucking around trying to get that to work. All right, so first answer we've got through from Nathan, Nathan Griswold jump and powder. Yeah, correct. All right, Nathan Griswold, for fuck's sake, you want a knife? Come in and get it. Congrats, mate. Nice Anyone job. Else? We saw the scoops. Oh, they all got it. Powder and seeding depth, powder and seeding depth, powder weight and projectile length. Oh, oh are we giving out a second one, or are we... No, I thought we were going to use this for a different question. Yeah, well, you can think of a question for that. Oh. Anyway, so that's what I'm mucking around with over the next never. Um, I'll make a double stack maybe one of them. Did I finish my question? I did. Okay. Uh, are you writing this one on me? Uh, Did I write the last one? You wrote the last one. I wrote the last one. one. Right. Have you got a pen? That's what I fucking asked you before. Oh you started taking the piss out of me. So I'm going to write the fucking. Two, two, three. The two. best thing happened to me on Tuesday, though. Zane came out and told me that he was angry and not to touch him or talk to him. And that was like a red bull to a rag. A uh, red bull to a rag. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! No, I didn't. You're even angry. No, you pretty much did. You pretty much everyone pretty much left me alone because I was in a bad mood. Yeah. And shit wasn't going right for me. And, and that was Tuesday. That was Tuesday. Tuesday. That's what I said. Oh, Tuesday. I thought you said Wednesday. And do you know the reason why? Why? Because I made them leave you alone. Who? Everyone. Who? Nikki, my wife. Yeah. Everyone. And Ross. He wasn't here, but Ross wasn't here. So that was my doing too. Lots of shit went wrong on Tuesday. I had a bad day. Nathan, put it with my signed hat. I'll be in next week. Yeah, fucking no worries. Yeah, no worries, mate. <laughs> Alrighty. Are we going to draw dicks or engrave dicks on his knife or draw dicks on his hat? Or... Oh, I think we should. We need to get some glow in the dark paint. But he will like it too much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe we should put tits on it. Then ne the, like the, it <laughs> I can just see the newspaper the next day. Man, man goes to hospital with knife in ass. Yeah, yeah, with glow in the dark, glow in the dark cocks on it. Yeah, no, glow in the dark dick knife. <laughs> two, two, three, Remington. Two, two, three, Remington. Who's talking it up? Yeah. I'm talking it up. And then I'm pulling this out. Yep. Sounds good to me. No, it's three out with Mag was last week. Yeah. And, and that's what I did. Yeah, and you did the likes, and I did the fucking dislikes. Oh, did you? Yeah. 
Because I, right. I can't dislike it. Yeah, because I... That's right, I ended up doing your half of things yeah, as well, because yeah. you're shit. Well, because, no, I didn't see anything that I was saying as a, as a fucking flaw. Actually, I think it was one of our it's viewers who things that put out wrong. most of the flaws. Yes, yeah, one of the viewers put up a hate of stuff. Yeah, but he, li- but he liked 300 Wisdom. So he didn't really count. No, it still counts. No. I mean, you can disagree with someone and it's still... I disagree with you on a day-to-day basis, but... But you don't say that I'm right. It doesn't mean you just ignore them. So, okay. So, two, two, three. What's something that's good about two, two, three? Popular. Why is that good? Why isn't it good? It's anywhere you go in WA or Australia, you will find two, two, three ammo on the show. So it's available. Yeah. Okay. We'll use that word instead of popular. Versatile. 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 It will be able to shoot a f- vast range of game that we find in WA. No, it's fucking not. Yes, it can. Like what? Rabbits, foxes, kangaroos. You want to drill some enemies with it? You can. No, you can't. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you fucking can't. <laughs> not with a standard twist barrel. You want to drill a fucking emu in the head? It'll go down. Well, hang on. You, you wouldn't be able to hit it even in the fucking head. I didn't, see, I didn't see you hit the side of the gong at 100 metres on the last course. I didn't see you do it either. I hit it three times in a row, knobhead. What? When no one was watching? When everyone was watching. Fuck off. You weren't watching because you were too busy going, oh, where's my phone? I've got to get on my phone. I'm oh, phone, there might be a meme on. There's a meme on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Two, three, four. Let, with the six mil plate. Yeah, so <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> Shut up, don't bring that into it. Two, two, three. You were like this, no shit, you were on there and you were like, oh, my next right. Or If you were to recommend oh. people to go out and shoot, what shoot, a, shoot, shoot, two, two, three. Someone on my grinder account swept right. Oh, no, oi, fucking. Oh, sorry. I'm You're the one that suits. Oh, it goes too fucking late. You fuck around. Yeah, I want to try and Two, two, three. Well, then let's get this done. Okay. Two, 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 three. If you go out shooting emus with a 223, you're a fucker. Or not. If you recommend someone buys <laughs> no, a 223 to I go didn't... shoot emus, you're a fucker. I didn't say that I've recommended, I've said that it'll do it. Oh, fuck me. Well, a rock and a stick will fucking do it. Well, that's not my fault. Maybe the Australians should have been using 223 instead of 303s well, for the emu wars. Yeah, the emu wars. Well, well that's the thing. They well, went emu wars. Out, at, out where the and they were using 303s and they lost. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So 223 is not going to do it, is now, it? The other side of it is pretty much used in every country in the world. For what? Everything. Every NATO country. Yeah. They're only the real countries. I'm not talking about the fucks. I'm not talking about the communists. So it's a, a NATO round. So if you, I'm trying to see the pro here. If you bought one and then went into the army, you would be familiar. No, ammo is plentiful. That's a fucking oxymoron. If it, it's going to be very unplentiful if the fucking Yanks decide to have another war, don't they? Then you'll be fucked. No, there'll be plenty of it. We just can't get our hands on it. They're just becoming the wrong way. Okay, okay. Let's change up. Wide range of... Wide selection of projectiles. I disagree, but okay. Well, how can you disagree with that? No, no, the, yeah, there is a wide range of projectiles, but you need a one in eight twist. Yeah, but we haven't said the rifle. All we're talking yeah, about exactly. was the cartridge. Well, then you're not talking about the cartridge, you're talking about the caliber. Well, I'm getting that pretty... <sighs> it's fucking hard work here. Wide it? selection of it's, projectiles. It's hard work here, isn't it? You're like, no, 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 and I'm like, no, no, no. Then you're like, well, no, no, no. And then we just go with a... Hurry up, John. Yeah, yeah, hurry up. Uh, what else have we got? What else? Low recoil. Is people putting stuff in chat? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you chuck stuff in the chat because he's struggling. No, I'm not. Low recoil if you are a pansy. So, pussy friendly. It's all right. Cheat. So, pussy friendly. If you're old, have a medical condition or a trend, then it's very good for you. Okay, how many 2 threes do you own? None. Fuck off! Oh no, I've got three. <laughs> That's two more than me, pal. So how many for giants have you more, got? <laughs> how many rounds have I shot through on though? Fuck all. all right. So you've shot more 2 to 3 than me because you're a faggot. Oh, 2 to 3 That's not my fault. Alright, what was what, what did you say before I ignored you? Yeah, I'm not sure now. 
Uh, low recoil. No, I've already said that. That's what we said. Pussy um, friendly. It's written right there. No, what else do I say then? I had a good one. But now you've said... Now can't you, be that good. How did you spell remember. pussy then? P-U-S-S-Y. Good. I thought that was an E in there. <laughs> was that a pussy? I-E. A pussy. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh! You can have a large magazine capacity. Like, you can fill that fucker right up. Large mag capacity yep. of 10, which is pretty much the limit on any other caliber other than smaller than magnum. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> that's a pro. Yeah, okay, yeah. Is but it's, it? not, it's not a pro. Is it a pro? It's not really unique, though. No, but it, we're not asking for uniqueness. We're asking for pros. The pros yeah, of a 223. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Okay, large mag capacity. Uh, oh, relatively inexpensive. What, for factory ammo or? Well, I suppose for, for, for anything. Reloading. Yeah, for reloading, for, for anything. They're inexpensive. You know, you can make it. Why use a kangaroo shooter's favourite? Oh, you mean a pro roo shooter? How do you know if there's a pro roo shooter at your party? He'll tell you. He'll tell you. <laughs> you can use that joke in so many different contexts. I know, it's good, eh? <laughs> What's the hardest thing about learning to shoot a. Three. Telling your dad you did it. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Anyway. Luke Wilson, no Friday night. I actually said that joke to someone in the store once. Yeah. They didn't think it was funny. No, I remember when you told someone else a, a joke that they didn't think was funny too. I don't remember it, I wasn't here for it, but I remember the aftermath. And he asked him if his dick was <laughs> is Mrs. Man it funny? Yeah, I bet. He didn't find it. He funny. didn't. He didn't find it funny at all. That was. I thought it was funny. Yeah. And fuck, it was sly. Like it was. If you're a fly on the wall, you would have been pissing yourself. Is that right? Yeah. I just remember the aftermath of it. Um. What else have we got? Will you come up with some cons now while I'm thinking? What's a con of any, of, of shooting two to three? You can't write gay. That's not right. What else you got? Okay, so 2 to 3 in standard barrel twists for hunting. Shooting hunting projectiles, you're limited to a 55, maybe a 60 grain projectile at about 3200 feet per second, and that's not a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah but we could. So it's sufficient. It's only just sufficient for shooting most thin skin game. It's actually... But most manufacturers now come out with a 1 in 8 and most manufacturers have moved away from 1 in 12. Okay, so you go to a 1 in 8 and you load match projectiles, you're still no better off. Because all those heavy projectiles aren't designed for shooting game. What about if you move to a 62 grain Sierra or something? You can shoot that through a 1 in 12. And a Sierra projectile is still light. The, the exception is the 60 grain nozzle ballistic tip, or the 64 grain, or I think there's a 70 grain that's made by AWS, which is like a round nose 70 grainer that you can shoot through a stand through strut. And they're heavy enough, specifically for shooting roe deer in Europe, so you can get enough energy so you meet the requirements of their legislation. But it's only just, like it's, it's skin, it's like, it's only just doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to disagree with your con there. I don't think that's a real con. You can't disagree with it because you know fuck all. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it is. It's only just enough energy for shooting most of those things. And you, anyone who's gone out shooting with a guy that shoots a 2 3 How many roe deer have you shot in WA? Fucking heaps. Oh, lots. I shot all of them. That's why there's none here. Have here. you seen How many giraffes have you shot? You can thank, you can thank shot me. all of the giraffes. No, no, I'm WA. talking about for shooting kangaroos and that sort of stuff. Yeah. I use a 55 grain Sierra. Fucking like, yeah, but you wasn't. I've never fucking not killed a kangaroo. I've got yeah, but you didn't. Yeah, but there was that one time you had to shoot it four times. No, yeah. I shot three times. I've been and shooting. I missed it twice. I've been shooting <laughs> with my twenty-two to fifty. Yeah, shooting fifty-five grade V maxes, and in one night I shot three rows in the nose and didn't kill them. Do that. Like two to twenty-two cal projectiles are just they're not. Like, if with you, the exception of the nozzle ballistic tip, which if, I reckon is a brilliant. If hunting projectile in 224, just let me finish. No. With the exception of that, I think that most 22 cal projectiles are actually slightly under underpowered for most game WA. Like if you want a general all round cartridge for shooting game in WA, you're better off going to a six mil projectile or bigger. 
Yeah, well, I'm not going to disagree with you on that one, but... So, underpowered. No. But the army uses it, so it must be good. Well, underpowered. What's another con? Short neck. That's not a fucking con. <laughs> I've lived with one my whole life. You lived without a neck your whole life, I think. Mean, There's a neck there, I swear. So, a 3 cartridge. So, back in 1950s when it was invented, the US Army were actually trialling two different cartridges. They were trialling the Triple Two Remington and the Triple Two Remington Magnum, which is a stretched out version of the Triple Two. It's a longer case than the Triple Two. It's actually what was used as the parent case for the 204 Ruger. The 223 is in between the two. Uh, they got the, the 223 case made a little bit longer, but they pushed the shoulder right forward. So now it's got a little short neck um, to get a little bit more powder behind it. And uh, in the process, yeah, I, I think the necks are too short on the 223, especially if you want to load big heavy projectiles in standard magazines. Um, you have to encroach into the powder column quite a bit. And so I think it's a bad design from that perspective. Well, that's going to be a con for sure. So short neck. Um, two, two, three. Boring. Yeah, I already, I've already, already kind of ragged on it. The day bit. sort of covers all that boring, like mm, who cares? It's like a mm, whatever sort of not interesting. Um, what's another con? So your case design, I've got a con for case design, I've got a con for well, terminal performance. No, no, no. Well, well, let's go. What's your con on a case design? Here we go. The short neck. Oh, okay. So you're saying you've already got one out there. Yeah, I've got a case design. I've got right. a terminal performance, external performance. It doesn't hold that much powder. It's only like 26, 27 grains of powder, but that's underpowered. So Well, it's not designed as a long range. Not originally. Hunting rifle or but hunting this is They got this original cartridge. It's popular because the Yanks like it, yeah? That doesn't mean it's any fucking good. No, it works perfectly fine, though. If you have to say it works fine, then it's probably not that does fucking it, good. Does it, it work right? perfectly fine, though? Your Commodore works oh, perfectly fine. Oh, hell, yeah. It gets you to and from work without a problem. Yeah, but a Datsun 120Y would be fine. Yeah, you and know, like they're that. a good little car. But it's not a fucking... In 1974, when they were designed, they were a good little car. Would you drive it around, like nowadays, though, would you drive it around to your mate's place and brag about it? No. No, no you fucking... You would. would. No, it's like... Root the Look at my like, dad. You you Look at my dad. My dad. That's cool. And everyone goes, oh... What a cool dad. That's well what they do. Well done, mate. Do. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to go and put some floaties on before you but, drown in the but, fucking no, no, bath? No, no, you're, no, no, you're coming up with two different... You're coming up with two different things here. We sit there and we pull piss out of 270 owners because they walk up to you at a party and they go, Oh, I did have a 270, anything like that. Blah, blah, blah. Because you don't do it's that a with shit a shit caliber. Yeah, because you don't do that with a 223, you're saying that's a con. Oh, it's boring. You're not gonna it go is up and, You're not gonna go up and tell your mates that you own a 223. No, you're not. Well then why is it good like for one and not good for another one? What, you're saying that I so can only take piss out of one person? We're, we're pulling like, piss out of If there's a 270 and a 223 owner at a party, I have to choose one of them to pull piss out of. Yes, Fuck off. Exactly. I'll take the piss out of both of them. The, two, the 223 owner is not going to walk up to you and go, I own a 223. Well, I'm going to choose the order which I do it in, aren't I? He's because just a I'm going to lob onto the fucking on. 270 owner first because I know the 223 owner is going to give me a hand because no on. one likes 270 owners. But once the 270 owner is fucked off because he doesn't like me, then I'm going to heap on the 223 owner because he's fucked. He's on his own. It's not going to be a con. It's not a con. All right, whatever. No, you can take boring off there. It's not boring. I took it off. Good. So what else you come with? 223. Uh, it's got a long powder column. Long powder. Come on, guys, put it up there. Why do you like 223? Well, why get don't you like 223? No, get it up there. Why do you like 223? Nah, fucking... Tell us about all your mates who are stupid who've got 223s. No one's stupid for owning a 223. Long powder column. So if you go to like a PPC case, for example, 22 PPC, uh, you're actually holding less powder, but you're getting more velocity because it's a more efficient cartridge. What are you saying? Keep it. I can't even get it out. Terrible. What don't you like about a PPC case? 
Only old people own them. Like Bill. He's got a 61 paper scene, not a 22 paper scene. So, it's fucking heaps of paper with paper scenes. It's fucking insane. 30 paper C owns the fucking oh. international bed trash record. Oh, I'm sorry. Those exciting people. Yeah, okay. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. But getting back to it, two, threes would be more efficient and it had a wider power. You wouldn't believe what I've done on the weekend. Or the show. Like three of them each. Have you spoken to cousins this week? Yeah, a couple of times. Did he go shooting on the weekend? Uh, I don't know. I, don't ask well, I spoke to him today, but I didn't didn't ask him about it. I speak to him like in my personal time because he's one of my friends. One of? Yeah. Your friend. No, I said he's my friend. Yeah. He's my one friend. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he puts up with my bullshit for some kind of column. Yeah. Okay, now I'm done. I can't really find too many other things that are, that are bad about 223. The only things that. Where's the link? Te- Teddy, fuck off. Your Wampus Kitty sucks. <laughs> so, 22 cows in general, I just find them a bit underpowered, so I don't like them. But generally speaking, if you're shooting like roos and foxes and rabbits, you're fine. Yeah? You'll be fine. If you're moving into goats and that sort of stuff, you've really got to play shit. Your shots really well. Actually, fuck, that was something I thought about earlier today. Yeah. I was going to talk about humane destruction tonight. Oh, okay. And so, different animals, where shot zones are, and all that well, sort it's of stuff. Well, I, te- I teach it as part of my. It's actually only 6 30, so we could probably go into the No, I can't be fucked. You got Charlie's to go home to. I got my kid to go home to. I haven't seen my kid for a couple of days. So. Oh, no? No. Oh. Are you sure he's yours? No, I'm not sure he's mine. No, nah, okay. No, well, he looks exactly like me. I'm not sure it's Nicky's. All right. I reckon that when he was she was giving birth, they pulled him out from under the table. <laughs> 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 they had already prepared. They, they Here's what we prepared earlier. Here it comes. Um, <laughs> Get rid of that one. It, it, it was like a. It was like. Here's a, a ranger for you. It was no one. They, they left it here. It was like a, sh- a cooking show. Yeah. Oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Put this one in the fridge. And here's one we prepared earlier. Yeah, that's it. Here's egg fried rice. Mr. <laughs> Uncle Roger say. Uncle Roger say tastiest animal is pork. All right, but pigs are very smart. Smart animals are tasty. <laughs> I love that, guys. We slap rice. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, sleep with rice after my. Yeah, my Auntie Helen left me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the second knife, the second loophole knife. What are you going to give it away for? I'm going to give it away for the best comment on why a two to three. Is the best cartridge Fuck me. you got to try and fucking no, this is a, script people no, this is a, to win your argument. I won the argument. You had three and I had fucking seven. That's because it's a good cartridge. It is it's a good a cartridge. cartridge. But, no. It, this one's subjective to me only too. So you write down why 223 is the best cartridge for WA use and you'll get the knife. So get right. If, if you get something that in Trent's mind is right. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. It's subjective to me only. So, I like it. So, we're going to do a muzzle brake test video, hopefully, um, soon. Uh, we're going to run a few different muzzle brakes up against each other on different rifles and see what people like and what the pros and cons of each design is. Recoil reduction, steering up the dirt, shock waves, all that sort of shit. James is right straight away. He wins the knife. What? Because Zane hates it and Trent's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no, keep, what, what's keep the other Keep going. Like, you, can, you can win it. Give it to him. I'll give him one anyway. But um, right. are there right. any other good comments? Fuck it, I'll read about them. James Goff. James, you won the knife, because mate. Zane hates it and Trent's right. I love that one. Because That's you it. carry the tiny ammo in your G-string. That's a fucking good one. Because beatons get to sell a fuckload of ammo. Yeah, that's um. They need. Like, yeah, yeah, like I don't sell a fuck good ton. Spot on. Could you imagine if we had like a Vernie Karen in two D three? Oh yeah, oh, fuck you, sell with a ten round mag. Fuck what, that. With a twenty round mag. Like, well, I'm not being silly. You need to make a magazine that actually takes oh. the the plastic fucking things out of the out of the federal ammo box. Yeah. You just stick the whole thing that's in there. Oh. Like a wood chipper. Like you just stick the whole fucking thing in there. Just shoots them off and it turns them. It's like a like, like a yeah. green like ammo. A, like one of those drop in forty five seventy Gatlin yeah. guns from fucking the Magnificent Seven. <laughs> Good for spotlighting on standing animals. Because why not? That's not a good reason. Who was that? Because cops license it. 
Yeah, their license was. Yeah, I got a license thing license. Not yet anything smaller than a donkey. If you shoot straight. Yeah, see, I don't like that because if if you wanted, to, if you hit it in the right spot, you can kill a camel with a rock. Like if you throw a rock at it and hit it. We chased a fox when I was a kid and hit it with a hammer. Oh. <laughs> I was a little kid. Like I was. Yeah. It doesn't fucking excuse it. <laughs> what well, type of little kid were you? <laughs> fucking Herman the Munster. I'm gonna hit a fox with a hammer. No one thought that would hit it. I can just imagine. We threw it at it. But imagine. no one knew it was going to hit it. You walk in and Bill's hidden there having dinner. Hello, son, what did you do today? Killed a fox with a hammer. What else did you do? Dug a hole. Good work, son. You're, um, not, you're not a weird cunt at all. So, when I was a kid, one of you, a good mate of mine, um, his old man shot you know, rabbits and all that stuff around. They you know, live on a farm. And he went out shooting and shot some foxes and some rabbits and stuff. But he brought one of the rabbits home and he'd, he'd cut it open and dressed it and everything and then cooked it up. And they're sitting there at the dinner table eating in relative silence. The old man's eating his rabbit. Takes a mouthful and he goes, <laughs> and spits out an SG. <laughs> <laughs> like it was nothing, like just like crunch. Oh, it was a crunchy bit. <laughs> Spat out an SG. Right. But it was the same guy that went outside during the rain and his um, gutters were overflowing. So he we went outside and shot a hole in the gutter with, with shot his shotgun. Shot a hole. Got his shotgun and went, bang, blew a hole in the gutter. Well, my dad, once I watched him do it, our gutters overflowed. And I was a young fella and he walked out the front and jammed the screwdriver and just like punched through. I did that. Right? That my ass, yeah. Well then, for the rest of our life living at that fucking house, you couldn't get to the front door if it was raining because the water was just, just pouring down it was like a waterfall. Yeah, I did it. I did like punch a series of holes in one spot. Yep. And then I came along later and cut it out and fucking made it down by it. Yeah. And fixed it up. Yeah. Oh, it I went on bought the house. It was only, only out it for three months. And it fucking was that big rain in about 2009, I think it was. It was on with all the tail and everything. In March. Destroyed every car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was 2010. Was it 2010? Was yeah, it? I was a tape that year. Yeah. I must have bought the house in 2009. October or something, 2010 in March. Yeah, destroyed all the all the floors in the house. 323 is the best cartridge because you don't talk a lot of shit about other calibers due to all the cocks in your mouth. That's inventive. Well, that got mean quick, eh? That was, that was quite, <laughs> yeah. You're South African by the way, um, Ben Yeah, no. Let's, let's try and chop that down, get a few words out of that. And uh, we should be able to refine that into, into something. <laughs> You're a wordsmith, that's for sure, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was the other thing I was going to talk about today? I don't know. I don't know. Chris Remind Griffin. Me, though, and I'll talk about humane destruction next week and what cartridge we're going to talk about next week. Chris Griffin, an excellent beginner's calibre, cheap, flat shooting out to 300 metres. Plenty of factory ammo available from all dealers and low recoil. It's actually, out the 300 metres, there's actually not much difference between, like, out to 250, there's virtually no difference between most of the high-powered calibers. 223 or 300 mag, they're all, you know, if you shot them in at 200 metres, they've both got about three and a half, four inches drop at 250. Yeah? And yeah, there's, there's probably an inch and a half difference at 300, but not that much. Why don't you talk about the cartridge you would choose for um, general purpose hunting? Yeah, well, Australia good, yeah. next next week. If, if you, you want to talk about your main destruction, let's say you had one choice. Six more rounds. No, no. Well, if I had one choice, Australia wide. No, just for just for WA, just for what we do. Because I mean, we can't really talk about what we do in Queensland or New South Wales. Well, we can't go there at the moment. So, what if you had not? Like, you want to go there. If you were yeah. only allowed to have one more rifle, Nick said, "You nah, not fuck you. You can only have one more rifle." Three three hundred four. <laughs> That's everything. What can I shoot with a three three hundred four? Fuck you. <laughs> You want to think about it just a little bit? You want, to, four. you want to put some thought into it? Three throughout the four. Well, it's four or eight shots out. Three throughout the four. If you needed to, you can, you can shoot without a muzzle brake. They're not that bad. No, they're, they're not. not. You're shooting a 250, 300 gram pill. So you can pretty much shoot everything, you know, including dangerous game like buffalo and that sort of shit. Yeah. Or not going to get much buffalo, but, but scrabble. You can shoot scrabble with. And camels and all that sort of stuff. You could shoot, you know, you could shoot rabbits and foxes. You can get a little bit more fragile projectiles and shoot them with it. 
Like right, it'll be a toss up between three throat and poor. And well, like, I've got an instant con for you straight off the bat. What? You won't get a license. Have you said anything about a license? Well, we're talking in WA right now. I've got one on the dealer's license. Who's fucking right? Okay, right. you don't get that. You don't have no. a dealer's license. I fucking do. Yeah. Well, I've got a repairer's license. Okay, <laughs> Okay, Dave. What can Dave get right now on his personal license? He's nominated persons on one. <laughs> so actually, actually, I can. Yeah. But if you're one of our punters that are watching right 300, now, three hundred PRC. Like if you were to get one gun, yeah. three hundred PRC. Yeah. yeah, you'll get it licensed. You'll shoot most things with it. Um, what would you just guys make sure if you go after dangerous game, you bring a mate, so he gets gored and not you. What would you guys get if you had one? That's all you get for the foreseeable future. What would be your go-to caliber right now that you buy? We'll go to this, cartridge. We'll say cartridge. Because my argument is that you would go overpower, yeah? Because yeah. there's no, there's no. like no substitute for cubic inches. No, I right. know it's a bit of a saying, but it's like, well, it's you true. know, there's no such thing as our overpower. That's no, true. It's um, go hard or go home. Exactly. That's it. What would be your biggest selling caliber from your shop? Probably 22 LR. Oh, 22 LR, any day of the week. Yeah. For rifles. Yeah. Everyone should have a 22 LR. Nathan Griswold. Should be mandatory. Nathan Griswold. He's, he's popped his ugly head up again and he's got a 270. Didn't he win a fucking Yeah, ride? he hasn't won it anymore. <laughs> Nathan, you're, he's got a 270. You're no, nice, you're yeah. nice, then back up for fucking wins. Nah, that's all right, you just love it. Um, so he's got a 270, and he'd have a 270. 7 mil rim man. I, I can see the argument there. I, I, I was going to say, I was close to saying 7 mil 64, because that is one of the better... Um, all purpose rounds. It's certainly better than 270. Yeah, it's not good. But, um, but yeah, like good bullet selection, yeah. mild cartridge, you get a few extra rounds. What's going on there? Oh, it's a lot of people walking in. You can probably shut that door. Hello. Nah, we're all going to go on there. Semi mag. Semi mag. Semi mag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah semi mag. Yeah, yeah, semi mag. 300 normal mag. 300 normal mag. Yeah. 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 You won't get one of license, license but... No. So you could lose that one. The police said that they, they it's not on the BPF list because no one's got one licensed in WA. Bullshit. Except there's several people that have them licensed yeah. in WA. Okay. So okay. It has 300 normal max, so it's not like they're trying to pull the wool over yeah. anyone's eyes. They were quite upfront about it. Yeah. The police licensed it. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Yeah, probably 7 mil punchy. That's what I'll pick. No one's got one yet. Yeah. Well, Zellers have been approved. Seven mil punchy is actually a really, really good with a fast twist barrel would be a really, really good cartridge. You got your projects the other day. General purpose. Got to be good. No. Trent got a box of five hundred of one ninety seven grain. Wait, is your missus watching? Probably. Oh, he didn't get anything. He didn't get any. I don't know. Changed. Something rocked up that he would like, but he hasn't bought it or anything, so... No, no, but I'm just doing the same. <laughs> I'm doing the same. I'm going to put it on eBay. <laughs> but it's... Never pay for it. I've been buying a lot of shit on eBay, yeah? And I get sent to work, so it's not like I can hide it. My missus usually sees it. Ken Morton. It would be the 6.5 Creek Morton. But no, Ken, if I was to have a 6.5, it'd have to be something with a set of nuts on it, like a 6.5 by 55. Yeah. If it was a general oh, purpose cartridge. No, I can't say that. Scoops is watching. We've already done 6.5. Nah, Scoops no. is right. Like, Scoops, nah, 6.4 by well, 55. Well, if it was going to be a 6.5, you're going to throw 6.5 on. No. Nah. Yeah, nah. you just destroy shit. Yeah. 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 Not in 6.5, not for a general purpose, like game round. If we're talking for game... You just said a fucking 3 3 8 Lepore for general purpose. But that's because it's firing a 3 3 8 projectile at a reasonable speed. 6.5 by 55 shoots 6.5 projectiles at a speed at which 6.5 projectiles <laughs> perform at. Yeah, yeah. But then just 26 knots are in, just go hard. <laughs> but then it'll be too fragile for bigger shit. So get further away from it. <laughs> so that when the bullet does hit it, it's travelling at the speed that it works. No, well, at. according to police license, <laughs> you're not going to hit it. So. That's right. A 257 Weatherby Magnum. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I can, I no, can I, see I, that. I'm, I'm happy with that one. The stock maker's actually got a Weatherby Deluxe. Oh, no Japanese. I think it's a Japanese made Weatherby Deluxe Mark V in 257. Weatherby. Only Nobed's own 280s. 280 Remington! Yeah, he actually wants to. Yeah, nah. I built a 280 Remington years ago, Mom. Uh, one of the first rifles I built for myself. Um, I actually built it on a single shot and it, it shot really, really well. I shot a lot of rooms with it. Yeah. And then I turned, what did I build into 82nd? I don't know, but you nearly turned it into a 3006 that time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 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 nearly turned me into a 3006. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Um, no, no, I, I then built a Seiko that year was in 270 and I pulled that barrel out and burnt it and crushed it and um, never to be seen again. Turned it into a 280. And I uh, shot that for years. The longest shot I've ever made on a roo, 409 metres, I did with my 280 Remington. Um, hit it in the middle of the spine, dropped it one shot. Um, and then I broke the stock on it. Yeah, so it, it broke the stock from the recoil because it wasn't a very heavy gun. Just broke it down through the tang. And I actually, while I was shooting it, I went bang and I saw something come past my face and it was a big chunk of wood out of the stock. Come out of the stock and come past my face where the bowl handle is in the stock. I went, oh, well, that's fucked, and put that away. And then I got a new stock for it, and oh, it's in a Macmillan now. It's in a Macmillan. So and I made a new recoil lug, like a bigger, solid recoil lug, so it doesn't break the stock anymore. 3006? That's not bad. Yes, 3006. 30 Excellent all-purpose yeah, cartridge. Yeah, yeah. Like those military cartridges, 6.5 by 55, 7 by 57, 3006, yep. they're really good all-purpose well, cartridges. I would actually like to have a 757 in a fucking safari-style rifle. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that would be... Well, you know Brian's got one. Yeah, well, I've already divvied that out. Have you seen his plazier? No. Have you not seen his plazier? No. <laughs> he never, he's never shown me his I'll be back. Oh, I didn't get it out. He'll have a cry. Oh, oh seven, seven, seven rum. Pull it out and I'll put some oil on it. Seven rum. Uh, not an all purpose. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I reckon that'll work. Yeah. yeah. I reckon that'll work. Oh, Gordon's still got his 280. That'll do. So, I mean, that's what we're coming up here with. You know, like most people in WA are picking sort of, you know, the bigger sort of projector, you know, seven mil, 30 cal, something around that as their sort of go-to everyday rifle. And I think that's probably a really good choice. Um, Where'd that come from? Oh, I'll put it inside. Up in there. Hold that for a bit. I'm gonna put some oil on. Oh. So that's a proper express rifle in 757. So it's a plazier rifle. Yeah. It has been tidied up a bit since it was originally presented, but that was presented to the Pauls by the Germans yeah. when they placed orders for rifles to shoot us. Ooh. Feels a bit weird sitting down taking it though. Oh, yeah. That'll go. So it's a 93 Morza, so it's an early model Morza, and you can tell because it's got... Oh yeah. The bolt face actually has a flat bottom to it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. See the bolt face? Really weird looking, it's got a flat bottom on it. They got rid of that as a production sort of thing, but... Have a look at... did the, that to get it to feed. Have a look at the engraving Ooh. on the bolt handle itself though. That was done later, yeah? That's not original. I'm not saying it is, but it's just nice. But the 93s, um, they cock on close like a Lee Enfield, so you've got to push them forward to get them to cock. Um, three position safety. But nice, nice engraving, gold inlay. I really, love, I really love that design though. When your safety's up, you can't see your sights. Yeah. I think that's a fantastic on you. The Germans weren't silly. But octagon, so it's got a round barrel back here into an octagon in 7 by 57 Must have been to England because it's got a BNP proof on it. Hmm. Um, but it's engraved around the muzzle and everything. Oh, yeah, it is. That's brilliant. What are these Smart sites? Parody. What are these sites? Uh... No. no, no, so that's like a fixed 200 meter sort. Then you flick that up. Yeah. I was just trying to read set the sites to. So people are getting some old shit tonight. What are they? It is old shit. It's got 11 on it. Yeah, 1100 yards. Yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? If it stayed up. Doesn't yeah. stay up. Ooh. Catch so right, Jake. Shit. Have a good night, mate.
Beautiful. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's more elephant shot with 7 by 57 than any other cartridge as well, isn't there? Well, well but that was good. that was because of the person shooting it, though. What was that fellow's name? the cartridge, yeah. Caramajo Bell. Yeah, that's him. Wasn't he in did the... He, like, did he knock off tigers and all sorts of shit? Yeah, didn't and... no, didn't, didn't, wasn't he in the army? And he used to shoot one of his rifles out of... He used to fly alongside Germans and then shoot them with a rifle out the window or something. I don't in the old biplanes, he'd stand up in the... This is the legend. He'd stand up in the seat and drill people with it. <laughs> right. Rather than use the guns on the... Well, to start with, they didn't even have guns, and they just had, you know, they would yeah. carry a rifle well, or a for a spotter. I actually watched a, um, a thing the other day that they had a string attached to the bottom, had a little basket under the plane, yeah. full of Fletchettes, and oh, they'd yeah. fly over trenches, pilot would lean out, pull on this string, and it'd drop these six inch Fletchettes. And it would just, like, it wouldn't kill people, but it was enough to scare fuck out of people in the trenches, you know. I imagine Americans it would whistle running. a bit as well as a flight. Well, like, yeah. it'd be scary to hear. Imagine, like, a six inch little fucking dart coming at your head that looks like a bloody end of a star picket. Yeah. Mm. You'd be going <laughs> yeah. for cover as well. Like, as if there wasn't enough scary shit happening in the trenches. <laughs> exactly, yeah, like mustard gas and all that sort of shit. Yeah. Um, I wonder what the legalities are, because I'm going to start now that we're at the farm. For those of you who don't know, me and Bill were at the farm this week. And we were mm -hmm. spent a bit of time um, making the range, like the, the shed that we shoot out a bit wider and that sort of stuff. But something that I've been meaning to do for a while and is really important, and I'm going to start work on very soon um, throughout the farm, and a lot of people will get a lot of benefit out of it, I'm going to build a trebuchet. Oh, of course, that'll be a fucking hell of a benefit. What's the legalities of a trebuchet? Are they covered under the firearms act? I don't think there's anything against them. Like, I know that Dad's come across them at fires in the past. Yeah, like... And this is what happens you when you show the fuck beat up your children. Like, yeah, I know. No, I'm going to make it. If you, I'm going to start off little, like little ones that that ditch like you know um, cricket balls and shit like that. If what I do want to get up to one to the point that I can ditch a car, like a flaming, a light a car on fire and throw it the length of the. If you beat him more when he was a child, yeah, we wouldn't be sitting here dealing with this right now. <laughs> John was broke a spoon on Chelsea's arse. I got a, I, John was used to try and give me a flog when I was a kid. But Can I try and break one on your face? No. Then I'm out. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to call done. That's done. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. I well, think it's well done to the guys that won the knives. Is it me and you tomorrow? Uh, it's me and you, because Ross you? is being a simp. Okay, so it's me and, uh, <laughs> me and Big Ross tomorrow. Um, <laughs> So we'll catch you then. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night and uh, we'll catch you later. Jack, catch you later. So on Friday Night Live last Friday, I did mention towards the end of the program, um, I don't know how we got onto the topic, um, but basically kids and that sort of stuff. And I mentioned how Johnless had broken a spoon over Chelsea's ass. Well, that turns out to be incorrect and, and Johnless took issue with that, which is fair enough. And um, so I'm here to redact that comment. I'm here to say that that didn't happen how I thought it happened. Um, I think it might have just been an urban myth that was going around. But it's, uh, it was incorrect. And so I'd like to apologise to Johnless for that comment. And uh, hopefully no one took it too seriously. And uh, yeah. So thanks for everyone tuning in last Friday. Uh, this Friday I'm hoping to have a little bit more of a focus on gunsmithing side of things. Uh, a couple of people have asked for that. And so we'll keep you in touch during the week. And I've got some posts coming up for, um, for muzzle brakes for the guys that are uh, looking at having them in put on their rifle and I better grab that phone. I'll talk to you guys later.